In this video, we're going to quickly create an end cap for our gutter on the roof. Now, as we zoom in, make sure that you've set the scale to something like one to five so you can see the detail of the end of the gutter nice and clearly. We are then going to go to the architecture tab, component, model in place. We need to select a category to create this in. I'm ping roof, okay, and call it something like gutter end cap or end cap, whatever suits you. Next, we want to pick a work plane and make sure when we point, we get the outline of the gutter selected like so. Then we want to click extrusion and I'm just going to use the line command to very quickly draw around the outline of the gutter on the inside face of it. Getting the little squares for the end points as I go along. Okay, and while we're here, I'm looking at the material, it says by category. I'm going to change that to white plastic, which we created previously. And then I'm going to select the big green tick. And we can see here that it's brought it out over there, which we don't really want it by there. So we'll just grab the arrow, bring it over here. Um, and we'll just change that to minus five. There we go. So we've now filled in the end cap. And we can see that we have it as a nice white color to match our other objects. But we also want to put one on the far side of the gutter. So you could just draw it again like we've just done. Or you could click on the one that we've got. I'm going to do the clipboard options by here. Um, well, con control C to copy it first, and then use the clipboard and align to same place is probably the best option here. And then with this one that's just been created, oops, I don't want to do that. Right, so now we should have two directly on top of each other. There we go. So we can see the original one and we can see the new one by here. So I'm just going to now drag this over here and position it on the far side of the gutter. There, that locked into place. Let's change this one to 7428. And we see it's just made it five millimeters thick, same as the other end. Now, if you wanted to mirror them to the other side of the building, you could click on this one, hold down the control button on the keyboard and click the other one at the same time. Go to the ground floor select the mirror by drawing the axis, find the midpoint of the building with the triangle, click, click, and that will create them on the other side of the building, which will now go to our 3D view, spin around, and we can see there they are, highlighted in blue. 